Okay, so if you could be any mythical being, what would you be? Any mythical being? Mm hmm. I often fantasize about being in another world. Probably a fairy. Why? Well, because I could fly, and the kind of fairy I want to be could grant magical powers to whomever I like. Of fighting dragons or monsters, of going places no one's ever been before, of living other lives. Cool. I'd be a witch because I want to know spells and potions and go to witch school instead of regular school. It's why I read books. In books, I can go to other universes, other dimensions, other galaxies. I can escape from the real world. <laughs> yeah, in witch school, I could study really hard so I could cast a bunch of spells on people. Yeah, exactly. I end up wishing for a lot of things and have trouble living in the present. Okay, I'm gonna go get the roller skates so we can skate. They're up in the attic. It'll just be a sec, okay? Okay. I just never imagined that any of my wishes would come true. And I never imagined that I'd hate it. this book. Hmm. There's no author. Strange. Hmm. Whatever. Moms! I'm going outside to roller skate with Angelina! Okay! Right. Okay, I got the skates and this really cool book called The Cursed Book. Whoa, it says do not read this book. Are you going to read it? Of course! Later though, this is our first day of summer and we're going to spend it by roller skating and eating popsicles. Sounds perfect. I forgot about you. <sighs> the cursed book. Do not read this book. Turn back now while you can. Once you have read the first word of this book, you cannot go back. Welcome to the cursed book, June. How does it know my name? I'm your narrator, and first I should let you know that the hiking trip with your family will not go as planned tomorrow. How does it know we're hiking and that it won't go as planned? What does it mean? You will have to see, but one thing is for certain, no matter how hard you try, you cannot flip to the next page. What? It's like these pages are all stuck together with magic glue! Ugh! Ow! Ugh! <sighs> what a horrible book. Mom, please. 
please, you have to hear me out. We can't go hiking. And why is that, Juniper? Because... Because we just can't, okay? I have a feeling something bad will happen on the hike. Oh, Junebug, nothing bad will happen, okay? I promise. Now, go get dressed. <sighs> I don't think any mother has ever said this, but our daughter is reading too many books. So, this is nice, huh? We finally get to bond as a family now that it's summer. Ugh, this hike is so boring. I wish I were with Angelina and that we could just fly together like fairies. This hike is so stupid. Cindy, honey, stop spinning, please. I don't want you falling. I won't fall, mother. I'm a professional dancer. Cindy, I mean it. Quit dancing or we're turning back. Yes, let's turn back. Please turn back. Ah! Cindy! You're okay, honey. Christy, I think we should turn back. Her ankle looks pretty swollen. Yeah, okay, let's head back and ice it. Come on, June. I is she gonna be okay? Yeah, she'll be fine, sweetie. Come on, let's go. I can... I can flip the pages! What? Why can't I flip it? Are you seeing how this book works now? Just as the title said, it is cursed. Bad things will happen to you and your family as you read this book. However, all your wishes will come true as you read this book. Once you start reading it, you will feel an uncontrollable desire every day to continue reading it, and that longing will not go away until you are finished with it. Tomorrow you, June, will meet your friend Angelina in the treehouse, and an unexpected gift will show up. An unexpected gift? Interesting. No, June, this book is cursed. I need to... I need to, um... I know. I need to burn it. Ugh, finally! I thought you'd never come. I know, I know, I'm sorry. It's just my mom wanted me to do some stupid math problems. I mean, why do we still have to do practice exercises during the summer? Summer is literally the time to relax, not work more. <laughs> exactly. My mom's just so annoying sometimes. But whatever, let's play. Okay, ready to be crushed once again? Please, as if. <laughs> June! June, come quick! Huh? We have to go! That's strange. I thought I heard Sydney. June! June, Sydney? come quick! What's happening? Sydney? What the heck? Sydney! Yeah? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah. Oh. Hmm. Okay. You're so strange, June. June, come quick! What? What's going on? This isn't funny, Sydney! Ah! Whoa! What the? Holy cow, I'm flying! Oh my gosh, I'm flying! Woo! 
June, Sydney, can anyone hear me? Ah! What? June, what's going on? We're flying, Angelina. We're flying. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> June, June, come quick. What? Sydney? We have to go. Sydney, I'm coming. We're coming. Sydney, what's wrong? It's mom. She's passed out, and we have to go to the hospital. Oh my gosh. Come on, let's go. Hi, so she's stable and her vitals are good. <sighs> we ran a lot of tests and there are no illnesses or conditions other than her postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome or POTS. So we're keeping her here overnight to make sure she remains stable. Would you guys want to see her now? Yes, right yes, away. Yes, right away. Um, I'll just wait here instead. Uh, okay. If you're sure. I'm sure. I'll text you if I need anything. Okay. See ya. See ya. Hi, darling. Hi, dear. Mom? How are you? Well, I'm okay. I'll be fine, guys. Be sure to drink lots of fluids while you stay here overnight, okay? And and eat and exercise. Don't get up too quickly. Just just do what you gotta do so you can come home happy and healthy. Okay, darling. I will. I will. I'm going to be okay. When you get home, um, can we make brownies or something? <laughs> yes, yeah, sweetie. We can make brownies or or something. <laughs> June, are you okay? What? What is it? The book. It's still here, but I burned it last night. You did? Why? Um, because it said something bad would happen on the hike with my family, and on the hike, Sydney almost fell down a mountain, so I burned it. Wow, um, but it's still here. It's still here. Your gift will be just what you wish for, the ability to fly with your best friend. The curse, however, will be that your mother becomes very faint and almost dies. Oh my gosh. So it predicts the future? Wait, how come you didn't read this yesterday after the hike? I'm not allowed. I can't flip the pages until the next day. Here, let me see. Okay, but you won't be able to flip it. Ow! See, I told you. It only told me something bad would happen on the hike, not what would happen. And the book said that every day I'll feel this urge to read it. Angelina, bad things won't stop happening until I finish it. And you can't get rid of it? No. Huh. Well, this seriously sucks. I know. What am I going to do? I guess, since you have no other choice, you'll have to finish it. Oh, I have to go home, but meet me tomorrow at the bookstore at 12, and tell me what the rest of that page says, okay? Okay. See you in a bit, bestie. <laughs> See you in a bit, little biscuit. Do you want to end this? Do you want your family to be free of suffering? Yes, yes, of course! Then I give you one hint. What you wish for cannot yet be fulfilled, but cherish that which you be well about. Time is not standing still. Huh.
So after you left, I read the rest of the page, and it said, What you wish for cannot yet be fulfilled, but cherish that which you be will about. Time is not standing still. Do you know what it means by that? I think I might know what it means, but I want to discuss it in the treehouse where no one can hear. Oh. Okay. So what do you think it means? The book is saying that you spend too much time wishing you were someplace else, doing something else with me and only me. June, you're not cherishing your family or anyone else except me. What? That's- When you're with your family, you're missing me, thinking about where you'd rather be. Angelina- June, it's okay. You're allowed to enjoy life without me. You can live your life. In fact, I want you to. I do. You can't take anyone in your life for granted anymore. You can't afford to, but you keep doing so. You keep missing out on the moments with the people who are here. I'm just... I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to live life without you, you know? I know. And I don't want to live without you, either. Look. I'm not saying you can't grieve. Of course you can. Just don't forget that you still have others around you, okay? Cherish each moment you have with them. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You have to go now, don't you? Yeah. I have to go. I'll see you on the other side. This is not goodbye, June. It's I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Bestie. See you in a bit, little biscuit. <laughs> June. June! 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 Good morning! We're having another family bonding day! Mom is getting discharged from the hospital, and Mother says we're going to play in the backyard, watch movies, maybe build a fort, and have a family game night! You know what, Sydney? What? I love you, and that sounds awesome. Let's do it! Yay! Family day! I often fantasized about being in another world with my best friend who died one year ago. I haven't been living in the present. I haven't been appreciating every moment with my family. I haven't even tried making friends. I have missed out on a lot. But I don't want to miss out on these precious moments anymore. After all, I can make my own potions and spells in this world. I can fly in this world. I can do so many things in this world. I do miss my friend, but she wants me to enjoy every moment in this world before it's gone. And I'll keep reading my books, just not the cursed book though. But when I'm done reading, when I've finished escaping this world, I want to get back to reality. I know I'll see Angelina again, but until then, I'm going to cherish every moment I have on this earth. See you another day